I don't think you can open this shit. Hmm? Okay, let's head back to Kimberly. Shut that door. Oh no! Come on! I was almost at the door. Why are you right in front of me? Alright, I'm just gonna see you for a lid anyway. Made it. Wakey wakey. Oh, I, I'm feel a little bit better. Really? Looks like you've been to the stone hut. What's that? Brought the radio back. It won't work, you know. I try to get the news through the radio, but we're too high up for that. A new slash from the world of the living won't do as much good anyway. But, you know what, I got an idea. I think there's something here that we can both use. Wanna hear it? It's called... Wait, what is it called? I didn't get the... the roses. I, I actually wrote the lyrics, <laughs> believe it or not. Better not be copyrighted. I'm a poet. <laughs> Someone who happened to read a poem of mine wrote and recorded this tune. I even got a letter once from someone who heard the song. Poetry to me, it's like, it's like creating my own microcosm. A sanctuary of comfort. It was probably, no, it must have been. The end of another sad day when I wrote this poem. I, I saw this place. It was pure white. As far as the eye could see. And I... I was counting roses. Hundreds of roses, so beautiful. You could lose yourself in them, in this shiny white world. Oh, I wanted so much to go there.
there's one thing I could say for sure about my life. I had a second chance. I wouldn't want to be born as myself again. No way. Anything but that. I don't want to go through it again. Not my father's accidental death. Not my mother's suicide. None of it. At first, I tried escaping through drugs. Then, I learned to create my own little world through poetry. It was a place where there was no memory of my parents' death. And I could just be happy, you know. I recently went through some of my poems and I realized something. Every one of my hundreds thousands of poems. They're so sad. Oh, no. Oh, the tape. tape. Great. Are you serious? We can't listen to the radio, and now we have no tape player. Here. Don't you hate it when that happens? You can have it. <laughs> All right, where's the backup it? tape? A broken tape player and a pulverized poem of mine. How depressing. And I thought a little music would be good for our morale. Sure cheer me up. You know, there's something else I don't understand. It's been ten days since the accident. So why hasn't any help arrived? Can you remember anything? I mean, anything at all from the last eight days. You must have been with someone else. I couldn't make it out, but... You were calling someone's name. I wonder what could have happened to Janny. If we could only find her... She might know about this other person. I'm sure of it. Okay. Uh, let me just save right quick. Before I touch anything, because I don't want to have to do that over again. That was one long cutscene. Okay. Save again. Perfect. Uh, ooh, there's a serious glitching going on. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I just wonder how we're gonna get out of here. Okay. Let's get to the uh, crash site now. I thought sure there was a shotgun on this table. Oh, whatever. I got like six more minutes to record, so uh, at least we can make it up to the crash site before I have to cut the video. What is that coming from the airplane? This is flight attendant Cat. This is Raw Airlines, flight 863. This is an emergency. Okay, that's a little creepy, because I went in there and there wasn't anybody in there.
hell you can't defeat him in like one hit or something? Like one shot. More baddies. That was kind of missing right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Where are you? I went to the other guy. Oh well. Wait, what does that say up there? Cook Valley. Yeah, we're gonna find out who made that distress call. You know, when I come to think of it, it's kind of like lost too. You know, the, you know, a whole plane crashing thingy and whatnot. Whatnot. Oh crap! I only have a one minute recording, guys. Can't just wait. Okay, after this, I might cut the video out if I survive. Whoa. You're hitting me. It's not fair. Okay, level up, and I'm going to cut the video here, and next episode we will search the uh, plane and finally made a distress call.